Hi. Now for this question, we're given that f dash x equals 3 minus x squared, all squared, all divided by x squared, where x does not equal 0. And we've got to show that f dash x equals 9x to the power minus 2 plus a plus bx squared, where a and b are constants to be found. And then we've got to go on in part b to find f double dash of x. So, as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, for the first part, part a then, we've got f dash x, let's just copy it out, equals 3 minus x squared, all squared, and it's divided by x squared. And so we've got to show that we can put it into this format. So what I'm going to do is expand the top bracket first of all, 3 minus x squared, all squared. We should be able to really do that straight off, but I'll just put the two brackets down, okay? There's 3 minus x squared multiplied by another 3 minus x squared, and that's all divided by x squared. And if we expand the brackets out, we've got 3 times 3, which is 9. We've got 3 times minus x squared, which is minus 3x squared. And we've got another minus 3x squared here. So it's going to give me minus 6x squared. And then minus x squared times minus x squared is going to be plus x to the power 4. And we're dividing all of that by x squared. There's two ways that I could go next, and that is to divide each of these terms by x squared, which is the way I'm going to go. That is 9 divided by x squared minus 6x squared divided by x squared, and then plus x to the power 4 divided by x squared. The alternative way is to just take the top, 9 minus 6x squared plus x to the power 4, put that in brackets, and multiply it by x to the power minus 2, because 1 over x squared is exactly the same as x to the power minus 2. So that's an alternative. You might like to try that. Both answers, both methods will go to the same answer. And what we should find then, we get, is f dash x, okay, equals, and for this one, this is 9 times 1 over x squared. 1 over x squared is x to the power minus 2, so that's 9x to the power minus 2. So that's looking good, that's the first term there. For this one, 6x squared divided by x squared, well, the x squareds cancel, just leaving me with minus 6. And for the last term, x to the power 4 divided by x squared, well, that's going to be x to the power 2. x squared, in other words, plus 1x squared, if you like. And we're told that we've got to show that f dash x reduces down to this form. So I'm going to say it's identical then to 9x to the power minus 2 plus a constant, which we'll call a then, and plus bx squared. And we've got to say what a and b are. So I'll just say where a is equal to minus 6 and b, well that's going to be equal to 1. We've got 1x squared there. Okay. Now for the second part, b, we've got to find f double dash of x, the second differential, in other words, of f of x. Or just take the first differential of f of x and just differentiate it with respect to x again. So to get f da double dash of x, all I've got to do is take f dash x and differentiate it with respect to x. So if you differentiate 9x to the power minus 2, in the usual way, it'll be minus 2 times 9, which is minus 18, and reduce the power by 1. So it's going to be minus 2 minus another 1, which is minus 3. When it comes to differentiating a constant term, well, that goes to 0. Differentiating 1x squared, 
would just give me 1 times the power 2, reduce the power by 1, and it's 2x to the power 1, or just simply 2x. So you could leave the answer like that, that's perfect. Or you could just simply write the positive term first, that would be 2x, and then minus 18x to the power minus 3. Or you could say that x to the power minus 3 is 1 over x cubed, so 18 times 1 over x cubed gives us eight, minus 18 then over x cubed. So there we go.